Hey you guys, I wanted to show you with this little simulator a little bit of how the central limit theorem actually works uh, and how we can actually see that no matter what the original distribution is of our data that the sampling distribution, if the sample size is high enough, that we will actually be able to see uh, the central limit theorem showing a normal distribution. Okay, so let me just kind of walk you through real quick. So once you get to this, you might need to click this little button on begin, and we have this normal distribution. Okay, so we've got this bell shape, and it's, its mean is like at 16. But let's say that I don't know what this original distribution is. Let's say that, you know, I'm sampling some new type of, uh, oh, I don't know, of we'll do tomato plant and this is how many tomatoes you're going to get from it or something like that and maybe I'm planting these for the first time this year and I'm going to plant five of them or something like that and so what I can do is each time I plant one of these plants I'm going to get a specific yield of tomatoes so I'm going to click on this animated and it's going to drop down it dropped down five so I took a sample size of five and then it dropped it down uh, to show that this was the average of that five okay so if I do it again and yeah let's just do it again so if I do it again I took another set of five that kind of just gave me another set let's do another set of five and it gave me that average and another set of five and it gave me this guy. Okay, so I could do this over and over again animated, but it's just it'll take forever. So let me do a set of five now where I'm doing another five. I'm doing another five. I'm doing another five. Now let's do like a 10,000. Let's say I do that 10,000 and all of a sudden my sampling distribution, this is my sample size of five done over and over again. I did it 10,024 times. The mean is now 16.02. That is really close to what the true mean actually is. Now you're like, okay, well that's just from a normal distribution. Of course the sampling distribution is going to be a basically bell shape because that's what this looks like. Okay, well, let's do something different. Instead of doing uh, normal, let's start off with uniform. So uniform, this is just a brick, okay? So we've got this brick up here, and let's animate a sample, and I'm taking a uniform sample, and it dropped out a value over there, all right? Let's do it again. I did another sample of five, and I went over here. I did another sample of five, and okay, so if I keep doing this, I do get a normal distribution eventually. <clears throat> let's instead of doing a sample size of five, let's do like a sample size of 10. And we're going to animate this. So we're going to get 10 observations and it gives me this guy. Okay, let's do it again. And do another set of 10. Gives me this value. Okay, so we're going to get this approximation. Let's do, let's do five. Let's do another five, and let's just keep on clicking this guy over and over and over again. So I'm doing these sample sizes of 10 over and over again, and eventually it gets normal. Okay, let's though, let's increase this sample size even more. Let's clear this out, and let's make this a sample size of 25. Okay, so now let's run this once again and we'll pull out a sample size of 25 pulls out those 25 and we get some average value okay if we do it again we get our 25 pulled down from this parent population and we're going to get ourselves another mean okay so now let's do this another five times and we do this over and over and check this out we get more and more normal and eventually you can't get really any more normal it's like this is as normal as it's going to be when we take these sample sizes of 25 so that that's cool those sample means if we plot their the distribution of those sample means basically becomes normal it's really cool. Let's do it with, let's do it even with a custom one. So this one's cool. We can even draw out 
our distribution, I'm going to draw it like this. Like that's a nasty distribution. I don't know what that is. It's not normal. It's not uniform. It's just ugly. So let's do, once again, our 25. And let's grab a sample size of 5. And we'll grab another sample size of 5. And guess what? The sampling distribution, it in fact becomes approximately normal. And if I get, let's do like 100,000, or this is 10,000. Look, the mean is at 17.81, and the mean up there is at 17.81. So that's just kind of visually, if we take a sample and we plot the means, and we do it over and over and over again, the central limit theorem says that as long as our sample size is big enough, as long as it's big enough, uh, the, samp the sampling distribution, or this guy, the distribution of the means, will be approximately normal as well. So anyhow, go ahead and play with this for a little bit. You can see how these will basically become normal eventually. And then what, what we're going to do is we're going to look at, um, we'll look at some real-world examples of seeing the central limit theorem in action. One thing I do want to point out, though, is that if we have a very small sample size for each of these samples, so I took a sample of sample size 2, ran that experiment, if I do that, so my sample size is small, it's not very big, if I do that, even if I do it like 10,000 times, look at this, it's not really normal, it has some problems with it. Even if I do it like 100,000 times, look at this, like even, even if I go up really, really high, the sample size has to be sufficiently large for the central limit theorem to say, hey, um, the, the sampling distribution is going to be approximately normal. So let me clear this out. Let's jump it up to like 25. And now let's run this guy. Now we're approximately normal. So just remember that, central limit theorem. In order for it to work, we have to have a minimum sample size. And typically what the minimum sample size is set at is like this baseline of 30. Um, but we can see that even, you know, a little bit less than 30, we can still get a really good distribution. But if our sample size is too small, the sampling distribution is not approximately normal. So anyways, good luck. And I hope that, that helped explain a little bit of the central limit theorem.